The reading for December 15 is titled The Suffering Lamb. And our opening text is Isaiah chapter 53, verses two to six. This passage reads, like a young plant or root that sprouts in dry ground, the servant grew up obeying the Lord. He wasn't some handsome king. Nothing about the way he looked made him attractive to us. He was hated and rejected. His life was filled with sorrow and terrible suffering. No one wanted to look at him. We despised him and said, he is a nobody. He suffered and endured great pain for us, but we thought his suffering was punishment from God. He was wounded and crushed because of our sins. By taking our punishment, he made us completely well. All of us were like sheep that had wandered off. We had each gone our own way, but the Lord gave him the punishment that we deserved. God told Isaiah that a young plant would shoot up from the stump of David's family tree. This meant that a new baby would one day be born into Abraham and David's big family. This baby would grow up to be the promised shepherd king who would rule forever on David's throne and make the world right and good again. God told Isaiah the shepherd king would not look the way people might expect him to look. He would not be rich and powerful like most kings. He would not be handsome and strong like David. Many of God's people would actually hate and reject him. They would not recognize him or understand the work he had come to do. Before the shepherd king sat on David's throne, he was going to war against the lying snake from the garden. This battle would hurt him terribly. The shepherd king would do nothing wrong, but he would be beaten and killed. Why? Well, sin had caused God's people to run away from him, like lost sheep wandering away from their shepherd. If a holy God was going to live with his children on earth, the price for sin had to be paid, and it had to be paid with blood. For years, God had provided lambs for his people to sacrifice as a way to make payment for their sin. The lambs were killed and their blood was offered to God by the priests in the temple. The lambs died so the people could live. But new lambs had to be killed again and again, day after day, because the blood of animals was never enough to pay for human sin completely. God's people needed a sinless human to be the sacrificial lamb who would pay for their sin. God was telling Isaiah that the promised shepherd king from David's family would be willing to be the lamb for God's people. Without fighting back, the lamb of God would suffer, bleed, and die a terrible death to pay for sin once and for all. The lamb would die so God's people could live and be counted as righteous. The point of the story is to remind us and to teach us that the shepherd king would have no sin. Therefore, he would be the perfect sacrificial lamb for sinners. He would suffer and die to pay the price for human sin. And as we experience this Christmas season, let us pause to remember how Jesus Christ is the shepherd king and how Jesus Christ is the lamb of God.